If you sell products or services to local businesses and are struggling to find new leads, well, I've got some good news for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can turn Google Maps into your own personal automated lead machine. You'll be able to scrape thousands of free leads and send personalized emails to them all automatically. Whether you're offering marketing services to lawyers or workshops for gym owners, this method makes it easy to find and pitch your offerings to any business that can be found on Google Maps. You'll get free leads, save tons of time, and boost your sales all on autopilot. And here's the thing, this is probably the easiest tutorial you're gonna find for scraping leads from Google Maps and sending them automated personalized emails. I know because I've been there and I've sat through dozens of complicated tutorials and messed around with all kinds of bots and scraping tools that in the end didn't give me the results I wanted and made things way more complicated than it needed to be. So after tons of experimenting, I discovered my own method that's super straightforward, doesn't require any advanced technical skills and takes just minutes to get started. So if that sounds like what you need, let's get right into it. So the way we're going to be doing this is with a tool called Phantom Buster and we're going to combine that with make.com and that's how we're going to be able to scrape all of these leads and send out the automated emails. Let me give you the big picture first and then I'll dive into everything step by step to show you exactly how you can set this exact same system up. So firstly, Phantom Buster is what we're going to be using to scrape the leads from Google Maps and once we set this up exactly as you can see here it's going to first find all the leads on Google Maps and then it's going to go on the websites for those leads because Google Maps doesn't provide email addresses so it's going to go on the websites for those listings and then find the email addresses for those companies so that's how in the end you're going to get these email addresses and you can scrape all kinds of data, not just phone numbers and email addresses. And some of this information is also what we're gonna to use to personalize our email responses. Then within make.com, we're gonna grab those results automatically that Phantom Buster generate and then add them to a Google Sheet as you can see here. And so you'll see it'll take down the company name, the website, the email, the address, any other variable that you scraped, you can grab as well. And then we have a secondary workflow that's going to look for new entries in this spreadsheet. And then it's going to send out a personalized email to each of those people. So that's how it all works. And now I'll show you how to set all of that up for yourself. First, let's get all the tools that you need. You can get a 14 day free trial to Phantom Buster. You don't need a credit card. Just click the link below and you can set that up. And it gives you two hours of processing time, which is plenty to scrape literally thousands of leads. Next, to sign up for Make, just click the link below and Make has an awesome, super generous free plan. So just click the link below, create a free plan, and then that's all you need in order to do this. And I'm assuming you already have a Gmail account, but if you don't, I guess you also need to create a free Gmail account. So on this screen is where you're gonna give Phantom Buster the instructions for what is it that you want it to scrape in Google Maps. So there's a few different ways to do this, and I'm gonna show you the best two ways, but the simplest way is you could type just a keyword. So let's say you wanted to sell to Toronto dentists. So you live in Toronto, I live in Toronto, <laughs> and let's say you want to sell marketing services to dentists. You could just type Toronto dentists, and what that would do is it's effectively the exact same as just typing Toronto dentists in here. And so whatever listings you see in here is exactly what Phantom Buster will also find. Now keep in mind that Google Maps limits everything to 200 listings. So what you wanna do instead of just only typing Toronto dentists is depending on the region you live in, you might want to select certain boroughs or sub parts of the city instead. So for example, in Toronto, there's the greater Toronto area, which includes like Markham and Richmond Hill and Vaughan and Mississauga. And even within Toronto itself, it's a huge city. So it has sort of boroughs like North York, Scarborough, Etobicoke, and so on. So rather than just typing Toronto, 
you might want to type all of these sub cities and each of them will give you 200 listings. So this way you maximize the geography that you are trying to target. And that could make a lot of sense if you run a local business, but if you run an online business, then you can target whatever city you want in whatever geography you want to serve every major city, because of course your services are digital. So that is the first way you could do this. You could just type Toronto dentist, but I don't recommend this way because then you would have to do each of those queries individually. So here's what you want to do instead. Open up a Google sheet and you can add a heading like search keywords and then add all the search queries that you want. So Toronto dentist, Mississauga dentist, Richmond Hill dentist, Markham dentist. And like I explained, these are the regions near Toronto. So you could do this and there's actually an alternative method as well. If you didn't want to type the actual keywords, you could go Toronto dentists and get a preview of what it's doing and then just grab this URL. And so in this case, instead of keywords, you would have URLs. And so either works, just name this like URL or name this search keywords. It's up to you what you want to do. Both of them work. And then what you do is you go to share, make sure you have it on anyone with the link, hit copy, head over to Phantom Buster and paste that in. Then make sure you go to spreadsheet settings and make sure you have the heading selected here so it knows what to look for. Next hit save. Now you can get up to 200 results like I mentioned, but for simplicity's sake and to keep this moving, we actually only want to get, let's say three results per scrape. And again, you could go up to 200. So in this instance, if you entered three, if four terms, you would get 800 results, up to 800 results if there are that many dental offices. So you can see how you can easily get thousands of leads. So we're just gonna keep it three. So what that means is that it should return 12 leads for us because three times four. Now you don't need to change any of this, just go to save. Now you can choose the data you want to scrape. You can see a whole bunch here. Let's scrape phone numbers too. And you could see what phone number formats to look for. So this is actually Canada, which is the same as the United States. You can just hit save. And now it's going to run your phantom once you click this button right here. And that's it. That's how easy it is. You should probably go in here and rename your phantom as well. Scrape Toronto dentists maps. Let's just call it that save. And now let's turn it on. Now this can take maybe five or 10 minutes, depending on how many leads you're scraping. So go get yourself a water or coffee, whatever you drink. And so you can see it's running and it's got 50% of what we need already. And in a few minutes, it will have all of the rest as well. And you can see it's found a couple of email addresses. So while we wait for that to process, let's move on and build what we need to in make. So within your make dashboard, just go to create new scenario. Now I'm going to show you how to build everything step by step, but if you want to make this even easier, you can actually download my entire blueprint and import that in with one click. Just grab that from the link down below in the description. And once you've gotten that, just click on import blueprint here, select the JSON file that you get hit save and it just brings in my blueprint right away. Then all you need to do is authenticate your two accounts here and you'll be good to go. But let me show you how to make it from scratch. So just click the plus icon and then look for Phantom Buster. And then what you want to do is go to get a Phantom. Now you are going to have to add your API key from Phantom Buster. Don't worry. It's really easy. Just go to Phantom Buster, go to my workspace, go to API keys and then hit add API key and then copy the key you get. And then all you have to do is paste it within your API key and hit save. Once you've done that, it asks for your phantom ID. It's really easy to get. Just go to the phantom you just created and you're grabbing this number after the word phantom slash. So just this number, go copy, paste. Okay, now let's run once. Great, so it grabbed the phantom we're talking about. So for each query you run, it will have its own phantom and we need this phantom here in order to grab the data from it. Now we're just gonna make a simple HTTP request. So we're just gonna go here and go make a request. And then we're gonna request the file that Phantom Buster creates. So go here, then click on this 
and then all you have to do is actually go to slash s3 org folder slash s3 folder slash result dot json then make sure you click yes to parse response and just hit okay that's it and now let's test it cool so we can see that it added each of those listings as a json file beautiful and now the next step is to add an iterator and what an iterator does is it just takes each of these 12 listings and then just runs them multiple times because we want to add each of those 12 listings to Google Sheets instead of just adding one of the listings. So all you need is an iterator and all of this stuff happens automatically. Simply all you have to do is click here and click data and click done. Now let's test it again and it's going to warn you but just don't worry about it. And you see it did grab it. Cool. Next we just want to add Google Sheets so we can add all those listings to our Google Sheet. Just go to Google Sheets, add a row and now choose the file. So make a new file in Google Sheets and you can add some headings here depending on what is it that you want to capture. So I just want company, website, email and address. Again, you could get a lot more data from Phantom Buster as you can see here, but we decided not to scrape any of it. This is all we want. So just create your sheet with the appropriate headers. Then you want to choose your file and we call this phantom sheet example. And so we grab that file sheet name sheet one. Does it contain headers? Yes, it does head contain headers. And now this is really important. You want to go in here and choose the values. It's really easy. So heading one, what did we say? It calls it title, but that's the company website. C is email. You can see it right there. It's pulling it. C is email. And then D is address and address. And then just hit OK. Now save your work. And you always want to be saving your work. I've made this mistake one too many times. And now the moment of truth. Let's run it after verifying if we got all the data we needed. So let's just refresh Phantom Buster and we can see that it scraped what we needed to and it got us a bunch of email addresses. Perfect. And so it's 12 entries and now let's run it because we have all the data we need. Let's run it and see if it works. You can see the iterator is working and that's why it's counting one at a time. And just like that, it just filled in all the email addresses for us. Beautiful. Now that our spreadsheet is populated, we just need to send out those automated emails and this part's even easier. It's only two steps. So go to create new scenario and go to Google Sheets and then look for watch new rows. And so what that's doing is it's watching for when a new row is created and it'll be created when you run Phantom Buster because we created the previous automation to add them to a row. So you see how they both work together. And then once again, just choose the file that you created previously that we wanted to watch. So it's called Phantom Sheet Example and it does contain headers. We know that we got to choose the sheet name. And here's where you can limit the number of times this runs. So theoretically you could hit 200 and this will then pull 200 results at once every time this automation is run. And it really just depends how many results you're pulling at one time. So let's just set it at 50. And now whenever a new entry is added, it will then automatically run. But for the sake of this example, I'm just going to choose manually so we can test it. Let's just choose this one, hit OK. So it got it and it knows it's working. It can grab that listing. And then this part is really easy as well. Just going to use Gmail here and you're going to send an email. And so now you just need to authorize your Gmail account. So just go to add and go sign into Google. It takes like 15 seconds, hit approve, and then Google authenticates make.com really easily. And then you want to go to add recipient, go to add recipient, and then you want to choose the email address field, which is C in our example, column C. So we have that there. And then for the subject, you could say marketing services for, and then here's where you can do some real cool personalization. You could say company name. So this is marketing services for company name, because remember in this fictional example, we're pitching marketing services to this company. And then in content, you could say, hi, I want to reach out to share how I could help again, company name. 
get more quality dental clients. You could say I've helped a lot of other dental offices in city or whatever other variable you chose to scrape from here, you can use as a dynamic variable in your personalization. And then you just hit okay. And now save that. And with that, we're done. And now we just need to come and turn this workflow on and it runs every 15 minutes, which means it's looking for a new row that Phantom Buster creates every 15 minutes. Then go back to your scenarios and enable the first workflow we made. And again, that will run every 15 minutes, which is plenty as well. And this workflow will be looking for when you create a new search in Phantom Buster and it does this part right here. So it's looking for this. So if you went back now and are ready to expand this and you go to setup and then you go to change this number now to 200 to maximize the number of searches you want for this Phantom, then it would generate all of that and it would do 400 times the number that you have, which we set up, I believe to be four. So then it would generate 800 results for you and then it would add 800 listings to your sheet. And so now this automation is watching for that. And to simulate that for you, to show you how the email function works, let's try it right here. Let's go to choose where to start, choose manually. And let's say this one right here is the one that was just added. Then when we run this, we can see exactly what it did. Hi, I wanted to reach out to share how I could help Markham 7 Dental get more quality dental leads, helping Markham 7 Dental with marketing. And if we go to the tool field, we can see we sent it to Markham 7 Dental at gmail.com. Now I don't sell marketing for dental services, so they're gonna be like, who is this guy? <laughs> but I did it so you could see it's a real email and how it actually works. At least they got a personalized message. Who knows, maybe I'll get a client out of this. So that's how easy it is to scrape leads and create a personalized, fully automated outreach system. If you got some value out of this video, do me a favor and hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more content just like this. And if you want any other automation tutorials that you'd like me to create, comment down below and I will try and make those for you. Now, if you're wondering what else you could do with all of those leads you just scraped, what if you could send all of them a personalized AI avatar video from you on autopilot? Well, if you're interested in doing that, check out this video right here.